So if you are ready to apply, there are a few different options. The first is to simply go to the Zebra English website, which is just zebraenglish.com. And once there, you can choose to apply directly on the website. But you should know if you apply through the website, you are forfeiting the chance to work with a referring teacher. And right now, with it being so much more um, difficult to be hired as a teacher, I would highly advise against this. It is really important that you take advantage of the opportunity to work with a referring teacher, whether that's myself or one of the many other amazing Zebra English teachers out there. So when you are ready to apply, please consider using a referring teacher so that they can coach you through the steps. Zebra English is looking for very specific things from their applicants. And so we are here to help make sure that you know what it is that they're looking for and are well prepared to show it both in your application, on your introduction video, and then in your demo. So if you're ready to use my referral link, go down to the comments below, click it, and apply with my link. But remember, reach out to me. I'm here to help you. Once you click that link, Zebra English is going to prompt you to create an account. Right now, I am in my account, and in the portal, I can see that I am on the step here, which is basic info. So in this step, Zebra English just wants to know more about you. They're going to ask for your first, middle, and last name, which you need to include here. And then they want to know where you are. So you do not have to live or be in the United States or Canada in order to work for Zebra English, but you do need to legally be able to work for those two countries. So for instance, I am an American citizen, but if I moved to Mexico, I could still teach for Zebra English and I would have to list Mexico is the country that I'm in right now, but you need to make sure that you are making it clear during the interview process that you are a legally able to work in the United States or Canada. You also need to indicate your highest level of education. Zebra English requires that you have a bachelor's degree in any field. So this is an important piece in order to be considered for the hiring process. If you do not have a bachelor's degree, please reach out to me. There are other companies that may be a good fit for you and I would be happy to help. And if you join my Facebook group, become an online teacher dash hiring help. We have many resources to help steer you in the right direction. Once you've listed your level of education, you need to include your phone number. And this is actually a very important part. Zebra English does not currently have a phone app. And so what they do is they send you emails and text messages. So having a phone number listed here is important and I highly recommend that you use your cell number because when they send you reminders like you have a class in 30 minutes, it's going to go to whatever phone number you've listed here. The next step is to include a Skype account. If you don't already have a Skype account, go and make one. They are free and they are very important for Zebra English. So I have not had to use it yet, knock on wood, but if there was ever an issue with my platform, let's say it was time for me to log into class and it wasn't working, I would go on Skype and talk live to a representative from Zebra English to help troubleshoot. So having that Skype account is very important for communicating with Zebra English in the case of an emergency. The next piece is the length of your teaching experience slash career. So you do not need formal teaching experience. This is asking how long have you worked with children? So if you are a nanny, if you work in a child care center, if you are a bus driver or an aide in a classroom, if you are a sports coach, um, if you volunteer at church with the children, this is where you're going to list the length of your time working in that position. And then it's going to ask if you speak English at an idiomatic level. That just means, are you extremely comfortable with the English language? It does not need to be your first language, but you should have a North American accent, and you also need to have proper pronunciation, good sentence structure, and a very firm grasp on English grammar. That is what they want to know here. 
Then it's going to move on to your certifications. In China, everyone is required to have one of these certifications in order to teach English. So the one that I recommend is the TESOL, this internationally recognized TESOL certification. You can get a 120 hour certification online for under $20 and best part, it doesn't actually take 120 hours. If you are ready to take that course, check out my link below and it will take you directly to the Open Academy website where you can purchase a purchase a subscription to that course so that you can work through the coursework and it is less than $20. It is doable in a weekend. I did mine in a weekend and it was super simple. It's just gonna give you those foundational skills that you need when teaching English to a second language learner. The next part is providing um, your schedule information. So they wanna know if you have a regular stable schedule and whether or not you are able to commit to teaching long-term with Zebra English. The contracts that Zebra English offers to teachers are six-month contracts, and they wanna make sure that you're able to teach for that time. So with Zebra English, they do things a little differently than other companies. In my other company, Q Kids, we are booked randomly with random students, and I don't usually see the same student more than once. There are exceptions to that rule, but usually it's random. At Zebra English, the company also books for you. They book your trial classes where you get to meet new students that are brand new to the one-on-one -on -one teacher program and are new to those classes. But once you teach those trials, the goal is to convert them to regulars. And those regulars are on your schedule every week, usually at the same day and time. So they want to know, are you able to teach students regularly for a long period of time? That is important to them. If you cannot answer yes to this question, then really this is not the right time for you to be applying to Zebra English. Another company for you that you may want to consider is Q Kids because Q Kids does not require that you have consistent hours, although they do require that you have a minimum of six hours of availability a week for them. So there are pros and cons to both companies, but with Zebra English, you do need a fairly consistent schedule. And then the next question is, if you can teach the students regularly for a long-term period, how long can you teach them for? Remember, our contract is six months long, so they are probably looking for the more than three months mark right here. You need to be available long term so that your students can book with you long term. In the app, we can open up our availability 12 weeks in advance, and they really are looking to see, can you do that for students? Are you able to book that far out so that a student can have classes with you every single week and you can help them to grow as an English language learner? And then finally, this question doesn't really matter, but it's how did you hear about Zebra English? Zebra English has been around for quite some time now with an app that students can go in and learn English but the classes are fairly new. This is all within the last year or so that they've rolled out these one-on-one -on -one classes with live teachers like us. So they wanna know, how did you hear about it? So you would click the drop down and select the option that makes most sense for you. And then make sure at the bottom that you are agreeing that all the information that you have included on this application is accurate, that you are being honest and truthful, that is important. Zebra English is really looking for a specific type of teacher. And if these criteria don't fit you, join our Facebook group, come and chat with me. I'm sure we can find a company that best fits you. Once you click submit, your application begins to be processed. And at that point, you're asked to do a one minute video upload. This video upload is going to be in my next video. I've actually already uploaded the video that I used back when I was hired, but you probably are going to want to make your video even better than mine because the hiring criteria is even stricter than it was when I applied. So, well, you can go and visit my video to see what a sample video might look like, please reach out to me. 
let's collaborate and make sure that your video is top notch so that you can become a Zebra English teacher. And if you're looking for more information on how to create your video, my next video upload will be all about creating that one minute introductory video. I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.